Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Star Wars Reveals video. Now this one is a few days late, as I was just a little bit busy towards the end of the week last week when all this was revealed. Now Hasbro, every now and then they will do a fan celebration, in which case they get collectors and fans like you and I that are probably a little bit more influential to the community to uh, team up and do a few reveals uh, via their particular sites and channels and stuff like that. So. We did get a few new reveals. We got some great vintage collection uh, figures revealed and also a couple of black series reveals. So I'm going to jump straight in. We're going to take a look at the first of the two black series reveals. These will be available exclusively to GameStop in the US and probably Canada. I'm not sure about the UK and at Zing Pop Culture here in Australia. So. They're all, they, I believe they're all up for pre-order now, so go and check out your local, uh, wherever you deal with, and you can pick these ones up. But yeah, we'll start with these two figures. And straight out the gate, we have a new addition to the Gaming Greats line. It is the 13th Battalion uh, Clone Trooper, uh, based from his appearance in Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, these were quite prominent in some of the flashback scenes with uh, young Cal Kestis escaping uh, Jedi Order 66. Um, it wasn't Jedi Order 66, it was Order 66. Um, and we do see a bunch of sunken clones on, on the ship, on the Venator, on Zepho on that, on that level. So I think it's a nice looking trooper. They've gone back with the uh, black rim around the helmet. So they're going for a realistic style with this one, as opposed to the um, animated ones that we've been getting a lot of lately. So. I think it looks like a nice figure, nice packaging, doesn't look terrible. I'll probably try and get one for my uh, Jedi Fallen Order collection. So let's take a look at the next one. And with a smooth crossfading transition, we have Fixer from the Republic Commando Squad. This is the second figure. Another game in greats. Uh, so yeah, us in Australia will have to pay that $10 extra for the sticker on the front of the box, um, <laughs> which is still bewilders me why. Zing have priced them at that point 55 bucks for these figures guys for those outside of Australia that's how much we have to pay for the gaming greats because they're gaming greats they're exclusive so they can charge whatever they want um, so yeah $10, $10 for the sticker uh, Fixer I'm much like Boss um, I know a lot of people have sort of mixed feelings on this base that it's basically just a repaint of Hunter again with the new head. Uh, he has a different backpack this time, so that they're going for a little bit of accuracy, a little bit of differentiating uh, between the Republic Commandos, and it's obvious that we're going to get Sev and Scorch at some point as well. Um, yeah, I understand people's disappointment with them, but, uh, you know, that it's better than nothing. So I will pick this one up because I did pick up Boss. I actually really like the figure, despite the fact that he should be a lot more armoured and bulky and probably some better weapons, etc, etc. But, um, yeah, I'm digging it, guys. Like, I know it's not in, I know it's not totally accurate. The boss wasn't accurate either, but to have some cool representation of these characters, because I've never been able to get any of the three and three quarter inch ones, save a old Saga Collection Scorch. Um, yeah, the rest have been really hard to track down over the years, so... I, I will be grateful and uh, and I'll pick up Fixer for sure. So um, wrapping up Black Series, let's get on to some vintage collection goodies. And we're getting straight into it with a nice bright red backgrounded image of R2-D2, which I'm not sure, I haven't worked out whether this is uh, a new sculpt or not. I'm going to say it's not. Um, but, you know, a great release either way. R2-D2 is a fantastic one. I believe he's going to come on the old Sensor Scope R2-D2 vintage style card, so that's going to be really nice for you Carter collectors out there. Um, really getting into the nitty gritty of the uh, good, good, Kenner, good old Kenner days, which I wasn't even a light force, but that's okay. Um, you know, R2-D2 for me is always a good one to put out. You know, people always pick up an R2-D2, he's, he's classic. Um, this is obviously their take on the sensor scope. He's got the little thing popping out of his head. Um, and yeah, looking like a really nice addition to the line for those who don't have enough R2-D2s. And uh, being that my collection is all packed up at the moment, I can't really pick out any to compare to. So that is why I'm not sure whether it's new or not, but I don't think it is. 
All right, next up we have the Imperial Gunner, which is coming on a nice Return of the Jedi card this time. Really digging into that last 17 territory with the uh, completing the 96. For all you folks out there getting into the uh, full redo of the Kenner line, uh, this is a repeat of VC-147 Death Star Gunner, which was uh, came on a Rogue One card back in 2019. So it is the same figure, um, but that one was pretty difficult to get. I never got one myself. It was a tough one to track down. So I'm very grateful that this one is coming out because I'd like to pick this one up for sure. Um, yeah, not really nice looking figure. Um, yeah, one that I definitely want to add to my collection. Love to hear what you guys think of Imperial Gunner. This is the only one I was able to find the carded image for, so I'm rolling with it. When that's, let's get onto the next one. Next up, we've got the Stormtrooper, Imperial Stormtrooper. This looks like the regular release of the Imperial Stormtrooper that came with the carbon freezing uh, playset last year. Early last year, far out, it's been that long, I believe it was. <laughs> um, so yeah, well, we're finally getting this out to mass market, allowed people to get some more Stormtroopers. Um, I know people were upset that didn't appear to have the new hip joints uh, like some of the newer figures have, but being a re-release um, using some older parts from you know other Stormtroopers and stuff in the past, you know, it's 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 a fair release. I think it's great to put Stormtroopers out. I've always said you could put a Stormtrooper in every wave of vintage and every wave of Black Series and they will sell because people want to army build, people want multiples of these things. Um, so yeah, this one's no different. Looks really, really good. I'm looking forward to picking up a couple of these. Um, mainly because I didn't open the one I got with my carbon freeze chamber. I ended up selling off the carded, the carded figure. So I'm looking forward to picking this one up and cracking a couple open, hopefully. So it's, it's looking pretty good. All right, last but not least, we have a couple of absolutely cracking figures, which I think are an absolute must have in the line. Let's hope they don't peg warm because they're not the most exciting characters, but for that carbon freeze chamber, these two are essential. And given the big focus on Empire Strikes Back in the last 12 months, uh, these are these two are absolutely essential. So I'm just gonna flick between each, each figure here in terms of the images that I have. So we've got Sergeant Edian and Spinoza, I think it is, I can't remember. Um, now we have had a couple of uh, Bespin security guards back in the Legacy Collection, I think it was, which is, you know, we're already like talking 15 years ago. Um, so it's been a very, very long time since we've had some good Bespin, Bespin guards. So I'm really excited for these two. They're an absolute must have. Again, you know, you can pick up multiples. I'm not sure whether Hasbro's going to go down the route of giving them individual cards or putting them both on the same card. I can't actually remember what they did in the Kenner days, um, but I feel like they both came on one one singular card and didn't have varying images for both characters. So we'll see what they do there because I haven't seen any card images as yet. Um, by the time I get this video up and out, they may have been shown and released and revealed and all that sort of good stuff. So, but yeah, these two absolutely essential. I think the only two figures that could really Add to that carbon freezing chamber would be a couple of Ugnaughts because those Ugnaughts from the Legacy Collection, um, which are the most recent releases, um, again, 15 years, um, they are begging for re-release. And given that Hasbro's really pushing to get the 96 done, Ugnaughts are going to be a part of it. So stay tuned because I think Ugnaughts will be out in the next 6 to 12 months. Um, just keep hanging on, guys. We're going to get our Ugnaughts. We need them for that carbon freeze chamber. So really really excited for these two i hope you've enjoyed checking these figures out today um i know again a little bit late to the party but i came to the party anyway i still made it i still rocked up fashionably late some might say um <laughs> thank you all very very much for tuning in i do appreciate all of your support and uh you know even with the sort of less content i'm putting out at the minute um just because you know, I'm still trying to find my feet after after a bit of a bit of a difficult period, but um, I'm getting there. I'm excited. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm making videos, and I'm in the zone. I'm pumped about Star Wars, and I can't wait to get back and back in the groove of this YouTube thing. Um, 
again and again. Let's keep rolling. All right, guys, may the force be with you always.